مرحبا اوكي ناو وي ار ستيل ان كومبيناتوريكس اند وي وونت تو ليرن ا ثيرد تكنيك ان كاونتينج كولد ذا انكلوجن اكسكلوجن برينسيبل ذا انكلوجن اكسكلوجن برينسيبل از ا جنراليزيشن اوف ذا سم رول اوكي ليت مي تيل يو وات داز ات ساي سبوز ا سينجل تاسك can be done using one way from a set A or one, uh, one way from a set B. Okay, so what is the picture here is that we have a set which and this set contains the number of ways to accomplish, uh, uh, sorry, contains choices of ways to accomplish the task. Okay, so suppose Okay, just a second. Okay, so suppose we have this set A and the set A has some ways, say way X, way Y, way Z, way W, and way V. So there are five ways we can choose any way from them to accomplish the task, but at the same time we can choose our way to accomplish the task using set uh, ways listed in in another set called b and in b w is also an element in b so b also contains the way w and it contains the way v as well and we also here have p and way p and v q and way q so to accomplish a task we need to choose one of these ways so either we choose one way from a or one way from b So in how many ways we can accomplish the task? So either we choose X or Y or Z or W or V or P or Q. So here in this example, we can choose, there are seven ways, namely the, all the ways written. But you see that the number of ways to do the task, okay, so here is, there's missing to accomplish the task, is the cardinality of the union of the two sets. And what is the union? It is the cardinality of A. Sorry, what is the cardinality of the union? It's the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. But we need to remove the intersection once because when we added these two cardinalities, we repeated the intersection. So minus the intersection. So this is the inclusion-exclusion principle. It says that if a task can be accomplished using one way from a set A or using one way from a set B, then the total number of ways to accomplish the task is the number of ways in A plus the number of ways in B minus the number of ways in the intersection. Okay, notice that why this is a generalization of the sum rule. Because in the sum rule, the statement says that if a task can be accomplished in a, uh, using a way from the set A or using a way from the set B, where the ways in A are completely different from the ways from B, the meaning that A intersection B is the empty set. And if what is the intersection, of, uh, what is the cardinality of the intersection? In this case, since it's empty, then the cardinality of the intersection is equal to the cardinality of the empty set, which is zero. And so it will be the number of ways in A plus the number of ways in B. So the inclusion exclusion exclusion principle is the generalization of the sum rule. Okay. So let's see an example here. Okay, in how many okay, how many binary strings of length eight which either start with 1 or end with 0, 0. Okay, so what's, what is a binary string? It's a string made of the digits 0 and 1. Okay, and now we want, so I, or is a hint to choose the inclusion-exclusion principle. So let me tell you, what is the set A? A is set of all binary strings binary strings of length 8 which which start with 1 
So I want to use the inclusion exclusion principle to solve this question. So now, so see, we are looking for binary strings of length eight. Okay, but which either start with one. So this is the this is the basket of a. So here is a all binary strings which of length eight which start with one. And the basket B or the set B it contains all binary strings of length 8 which end with the 0, 0. Okay, so either start with 1 or end with the 0, 0. So this will be the set B. It will be set of all binary strings which of length 8 okay which end with 0 0 okay so let me give you an example for elements in A so I want my binary string so for okay for example 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 right so this is a binary string it is of length 8 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it starts with 1 so this binary string belongs to the set A now let me give you an example of a string which starts which belongs to B Look at this 0, 1, 1, 1, and then 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, this is of length 8, it's a binary string and it ends with 0, 0. It belongs to B. So one can tell me, okay, we count the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B, and this is the total number of these strings which start with 1 or end with 0, 0. But the problem is that there are elements which belong to both there are strings which belong to both for example look at this one it starts with one okay and it ends with zero zero so this one belongs to the intersection okay so this element one zero 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 one one zero zero it it starts with one and ends with zero zero so now the total number of such strings which start with one or end with zero zero is the is the number of elements in the union of these two sets. So either you start with one or end with zero zero. And by the inclusion exclusion principle, we see that this set has this size: the cardinality of a plus the cardinality of b minus the cardinality of the intersection. So now let's find these three numbers. This this and this so what's the cardinality of a to find the cardinality of a we will use the product rule remember what is we want to see how many strings binary strings of length eight so we have eight tasks to do right which starts with one okay in how many ways we can fill the first digit okay there's only one way which is one it has to be one now in how many ways i can fill the second digit there are two ways either zero or one and here we have either zero or one either zero or one so in each task we have two ways to accomplish this task what are the two ways either choose zero or choose one so and then the product rule says multiply all these numbers so we have 2 to the power 7 so what is this number 2 to the power 7 again this is 2 to the power 7 is all binary strings of length 8 which start with 1 okay. now let's see what is the cardinality of b what's the cardinality of b now we, we use how so you ask yourself in how many ways i can form a string 
a binary string of length 8 whose last two digits are 0, 0. Okay, are both zeros. So again, we have eight tasks to do. Okay, in the first task, I can choose either 0 or 1. And then, so two choices, two choices, two choices, until we reach the seventh, seventh task, where I only have one choice. I need to fill a 0 here. And I need to fill a zero in the last one, so we only have one choice. So in total, we have two to the power six elements, or two to the power six binary strings of length eight, whose last two digits are zeros. Okay. And finally, we need to compute what is the intersection. So what is the intersection? The intersection of A and B are binary strings of length 8 which start with 1 and end with 0, 0. So again using the product rule we have to do 8 tasks. The first task has only one choice because there's only one choice to fill the first digit which is only one. We are forced to put it one. And here we have two choices. We can choose two choices for the fourth digit. We have two choices here, two choices here. But when we reach the seventh digit we only have one choice we need to fill it with zero and the eighth one we need to fill it with zero and then okay so one one means one choice to perform to accomplish the eighth task okay which is only filling it with zero so this is the first task what is the first task is filling the first digit and the sec this is the second task I am using the product rule here. Okay, so again, we want to see in how many ways we can form a string of length 8 which starts with 1 and ends with 0, 0. So using the product rule, we will break down this mission into 8 tasks, which are the first task is filling the first digit, second task filling the second digit, and so on. We see that in the first task, we only have one choice to do it because we are forced to put 0 here. And this means we have only one, so here one choice. For the second task, we have two choices. Why? Because we can either fill the second digit with either zero or one, and so on. And here one, here means one choice. And here one choice as well. Okay, so multi then the product tool says multiply these numbers, the number of ways to perform each task. And this is two to the power five. So to answer the question here, how many binary strings of length 8 either start with 1 or end with 0, 0, the answer is, okay, the answer is 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 6 minus the number of, uh, pass, uh, the number of strings which belong to the intersection, which is 2 to the power 5. So this number is the number of binary strings of length 8, which start with 1 or ends with the 0, 0. Okay, these numbers are from here. So the cardinality of A is 2 to the power 7, the cardinality of B is 2 to the power 6, and the cardinality of the intersection is 2 to the power 5. What is A, B, and C? Sorry, A, B. A is the set of binary strings which start with 1, and B is the set of binary strings which end with 0, 0, and the intersection is the set of binary strings of length 8 which start with 1 and end with 0, 0.